here at the BBT, we honor all the prophets. We don't gravitate to one science where we miss the essence of all the rest. So when we say that this is for those that love Jesus, that means that BBT is a friend and that we do not disrespect any of the holy uh, houses that lead one to the creator. So with that, I say Islam. Yo, what you own? What you mean what you own? Yo, what you own? Yo, what you mean what you own? Yo, what you own? You know that knowledge. You know that Gnostic. You know that Gnosis. No hocus pocus. Just stay focused. Just stay focused. Just stay. Yo, what you own? What you mean? Like I always start off, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. So this is the Journey to a Knowledge of Self podcast. This is your brother Alonzo Wright Bay. And today I jumped on to give you a little short introduction of the Moorish Holy Quran. And really to introduce it for those that may have heard about it um, or may have never really had the opportunity to open it up for themselves and just to take a look into what it actually says. Um, Nevertheless, you know, getting to the understanding of what it says, it's a different whole process, right? But I just want to open up by reading what the title says here, right? So right when you open up the book, I, I won't even, I mean, even on the book itself, on the, on the, on the outside cover, and there's many renditions of the design of the cover that you will see, right? But it's, it reads the Holy Quran of the Morris Science Temple of America. And there's a number seven, which you can't see. And I do apologize for that right now. A number seven inside of a circle, which demonstrates or denotes a circle seven. Right. So some call the Moorish Holy Quran the Circle Seven. Right. And some will say the Holy Quran or Quran, if you will, because of the the pronunciation of it. And if you are in circle circles and you say the Holy Holy Quran, of course, it may be misinterpreted for the Al Quran, um, which is uh, was translated by either Mulana, um, Muhammad Ali. Um, and then there's the, also the the uh, one of, of Yusuf Ali, uh, peace be upon them. Uh, and but what you have here is the Moorish Holy Quran, which was uh, uh, divinely prepared by the Prophet Noble Jew Ali, right? And the study of who the Prophet Noble Jew Ali was and is. Um, is another lesson that we will go over um, by the grace of Allah uh, with the illustrious Sheikh Kyrie uh, will break down some of those things. So we we are intro- reintroducing here at the BBT. This is a resurrection. So we're reintroducing some of these things that may have fallen out of popularity, if you will, or out of popular culture for specific reasons. Um, and today we're just going over the Moorish Holy Quran uh, Quran uh, introduction, right? So when we see the word, even as it's spelled here on the Moorish Holy Quran, it's spelled with the K O R A N. And these letters, as the noble prophet uh, Juali has taught to us, uh, that Quran um, comes in a different form, right? So for the K, we have knowledge, right? For the O, we have order, right? And for the R, we have rhythm, right? And then for the A, we have astronomy, astrology, right? And then for the N, we have nature. So we have knowledge, order, rhythm, astronomy, astrology, and nature. These things make up creation. So just reading the cover here, as we analyze, and of course, those are keys. 
that I just gave. So, you know, we use keys to unlock things. And when now you have that key of the, the K to O to R to A to N of the Quran or the Quran, right, of the Morris Holy, the Morris uh, Science Temple of America, then we now can then start to use our discernment and going into the book where we now know this is leading us in to a knowledge, right? Leading us into an order, um, a certain rhythm, you know, of what astrology or astronomy, which means the heavenly bodies or the, the, the cosmos, if you will, right? As it relates to nature and a natural order of things, if you will, right? So these are things that is coming up now in our mind or should be coming up in our hippocampus as we begin to open the book. And um, when we open the book here again, uh, right on the inside cover, uh, it reads, know thyself and Allah, the genealogy of Jesus, life and works of Jesus in India, in Europe and in Africa, in the land of Egypt. Right? So, whoa. Right? The genealogy of Jesus. And for those that are, for us Bible scholars out there, we know when we get into the, the, the book of Matthew and the Holy Scriptures, you know, it begins with the genealogy of Jesus. And this is given us now saying, Know thyself and Allah, the genealogy of Jesus, life and works of Jesus. Right? Then it goes on to say, Where? What? In India, in Europe, and in Africa. And in the land of Egypt, right? This is this is intriguing. On the next page, it has a silhouette or image of Nobu Juali, the prophet and founder of the Morris Science Temple of America, right? To redeem the people from their sinful ways. So this is this is the mission. And foremost in what they're saying are below the image of the prophet Nobu Ali. And when we think of prophets, things come into our mind, right? So this should give us some type of inquisitive um, curiosity to this man, Nobu Ali. Now, when you turn the page, right, on the inner cover, or the next page other than the inside cover, it got... Sultan Abdul Aziz Abu Saud. Hmm? Why would it have a Sultan Abdul Aziz Abu Saud here on this cover? Right on the opposite page behind Prophet Nobu Juali. I said behind the noble Prophet Nobu Juali. And it says, the descendant of Hagar, now the head of the holy city. Of Mecca. So when one is behind, one is almost like supporting, if you will, or maybe have given you a charge, if you will. Islam. Islam. Know thyself and thy father God, Allah. The genealogy of Jesus with 18 years of the events, life, works, and teachings in Europe, in India, and Africa. These events occurred before he was 30 years of age. These secret lessons, watch this, these secret lessons are for all those who love Jesus, love Jesus, and desire to know about his life, works, and teachings. Dear readers, do not falsely use these lessons. They are for good, peace, and happiness for all those that love Jesus. Dear mothers, teach these lessons to your little ones that they may learn to love instead of hate. Dear fathers, by these lessons you can set your house in order and your children will learn to love instead of hate. The lessons of this pamphlet are not for sale, but for the sake of humanity, as I am a prophet and the servant is worthy of his hire. You can receive this pamphlet 
at expenses. The reason these lessons have not been known is because the Muslims of India, Egypt, and Palestine had these secrets and kept them back from the outside world. And when the time appointed by Allah, they loosened the keys and freed the secrets. And for the first time in ages, have these secrets been delivered in the hands of the Muslims of America. All authority and rights of publishing of this pamphlet of 1927. So we see that the Prophet Nuhu Ali had this declaration um, and presented it to the world in 1927 with the Moorish Holy Quran. And interestingly enough, we have those that love Jesus or those that have maybe using the holy name, Yahshua the Messiah. And yet they are not aware of Prophet Nuhu Ali and his declaration of the revelation of the missing 18 years of our beloved Jesus. So to me, this is significant. Those who love Jesus would take a second note and look and say wait i need all the things not just some who are uh describing or espousing certain things to whom the man or the embodiment of god that i say that i love here at the bbt we honor all the prophets we don't gravitate to one science where we miss the essence of all the rest so when we say that this is for those that love Jesus, that means that BBT is a friend and that we do not disrespect any of the holy uh, houses that lead one to the creator. So with that, I say Islam. So this is by the prophet Nubu Ali, and it reads before we get into the chapter one introduction. It says, the industrious acts of the Muslims of Northwest and Southwest Africa. These are the Moabites, Hamatites, Canaanites, who were driven out of the land of Canaan by Yahshua or by Joshua and received permission from the pharaohs of Egypt to settle in that part of Egypt. So we've heard the story, the, the, the story or the when we learned in Sunday school, right? that they were giants in the land, right? You know, when they were surveying the land, Joshua and the other one to go uh, scope out the land that God will give you, um, right? Even if there were giants inhabiting the land. So this is further in the story or giving us the angle, right? Of a perspective where it pivots when it talks about that these are the Moabites, Hamatites and Canaanites who were driven out of the land of Canaan by Joshua. Right, and received permission from the pharaohs of Egypt to settle in the portion of Egypt. So these were the ones that were fleeing, if you will. In later years, they formed themselves kingdoms. These kingdoms are called this day, Morocco, Algiers, Tunis, and Tripoli. I'm gonna say it again. The industrious acts of the Muslims of Northwest and Southwest Africa these are the Moabites, Hamatites, Canaanites, who were driven out of the land of Canaan by Joshua and received permission from the Pharaoh to settle in the, in the part of Egypt, right? In, the, in that in later years, they formed themselves kingdoms. These kingdoms are called this day Morocco, Algiers, Tunis, and Tripoli. So we just given a, 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 a historical uh, correction of perspective when it comes to these peoples and that of your ancestry and where we are connected to as Muslims and Moorish Americans. Islam. So chapter one, title of the Moorish Holy Quran is the creation and fall of man. And I'm going to read through the chapter and we will keep this video short 
and we will regroup discussing what we have read here right so it begins and it reads time never was when man was not if life of man at any time began a time would come when it would end the thoughts of allah cannot be circumscribed no finite mind can comprehend things infinite right and that right there can give you a pictorial when it says that Allah cannot be circumscribed, which really means measured in any way, shape, form, or fashion. When we see the uh, the 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 eye, if you will, right? When we see the eye, um, either above a pyramid, uh, we may see it inside of a triangle, or bound or closed, if you will. That would dictate or denote that that is a certain measured space that the eye has control over um, and is bound by, right? But in more science, when you see a Moorish uh, 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 um, eye um, above the form of a pyramid, if you will, it, it has no bounds on it, meaning that it cannot be circumscribed and, it's, and it, it denotes that of a true representation of the almighty creator the great architect right Th that is infinite and cannot be circumscribed all things finite why right, are subject unto change all finite things will cease to be because there was a time when they were not the bodies and souls of men are finite things yay mm -hmm. and they will change from the finite point of view a time will come when they will be no more but man himself is not the body nor the soul he is the spirit or is a spirit of and part of a law right creative fate gave to man to spirit man a soul that he might function on the plane of soul gave him a body of flesh that he might function on the plane of things made manifest why did creative fate give to spirit man a soul that he might function on the plane of soul why did creative fate give to soul a body of flesh that he might function on the plane of things that are made manifest here now ye cherubim ye seraphim ye angels ye men here now o protoplast and earth and planet and beast here now ye creeping things of earth ye fish that swim ye birds that fly here now ye winds that blow ye thunders and ye lightnings of the sky here now ye spirits of the fire of water earth and air here now o oh, everything that is or was or evermore will be for wisdom speaks from out the highest plane of spirit life now all of these are phrases and calling to attention all in creation to halt and pause for what's about to be said now this is what is about to be said after saying everything to halt and to hear now, it reads as follows. Man is a thought of Allah. I'm going to repeat. Man is a thought of Allah or of God, if you will. All thoughts of God or all thoughts of Allah are infinite. They are not measured up by time for the things that are concerned with time begin and end the thoughts of Allah are the everlasting of the past unto the never ending days to come hmm and so is man the spirit man watch this but like but man like every other thought of Allah was but a seed watch that seed but man like every other thought of Allah was but a seed a seed that held within itself the potencies of Allah just as the seed of any plant of earth holds deep within itself the attributes of every part of that is special plant so if you have any type of seed wherein you wish like to plant and 
grow and bloom and blossom and whatever have you, right? So we know the species of that seed will ultimately um, have in its potential all that the plant has in itself. There's no uh, um, nothing to take away from the seed yet because it hasn't become its full self, but it has all the possibilities and the potentials to do so. So is man as a thought of God, as a thought of Allah, as being a seed. Amen. He says, so spirit man, as seed of Allah, held deep within himself the attributes of every part of Allah. Watch this. It says, now seeds are perfect. Yea, as perfect as the source from which they come. Right? But they are not yet, what? Unfolded into the life made manifest. The child is as perfect as the mother is. So man, the seed, must be deeply planted in the soil that he might grow, unfold, as does the bud unfold to show the flower. The human seed that came from plane of soul and of the plane of things made manifest. So Allah, the husbandman, watch that, of everything that is, threw forth his human seed into the soil of soul, and it grew apace, and man became a living soul, and he became the Lord of all the kingdom of the soul. Hark, now let every creature hear, the plane of the soul is but the ether of the spirit plane, vibrating not so fast. And in the slower rhythm of this plane, the essences of life are made on our manifest, the perfumes and the odors, the true sensations and the all of love made manifest. So we see now in the slower rhythms, right? So in the spirit realm, if you will, the 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 operation or the the uh, the movement, if you will, um, of those uh, celestial energies are at a certain pace right but as they begin to move and begin to slow down as we as we say descend if you will um it become more slower right and they begin to come taking on certain essences right certain perfumes and smells and essences of of, of life becoming islam and the essence of all love manifests right so and these soul attributes became became a body beautiful right so now as we get to the into the from the high frequencies down to the slower rhythms things become become more formed and solid right and you begin to slow down and you, you form into a grosser matter if you will and i can give you a small uh pictorial if you ever seen the movie lucy right lucy where she she begins she takes in on a drug because she was kidnap and try to be trafficked with the drug inside her stomach. It somehow punctured the drug bag and a, and a drug started to uh, uh, be released into her system. But what happened was she was beginning to now increase her mental capacity because on the impact of the drug and as she began to get more and more, you know, accelerated and high, you know, her physical attributes started to change because everything started to speed up. And so her, her, what you could say, her essence, it began to take on a spiritual essence and her body started to dissolve <laughs> as it sped up. So we can see the reverse happening coming from a high spiritual state down to a slow, the slower rhythms, right? If you will. And we started coming harder and taking on the forms and the, the perfumes and the essences of life and then became a body beautiful. With that, I say Islam, right? It said, a multitude of lessons man must learn upon the plane of soul. And there he tarries many ages until his lessons are learned, are all learned. Upon the boundary of the plane of soul, the ether began to vibrate slower still. And then the essences took on a final God. The perfumes and odors and the true sensations and the all of love were clothed in flesh. Man. Right? And it says, and man was clothed in flesh. Perfected man. Uh-huh. Come on, perfected man. Wow. Where we at, man? I think I uh, perfected man. Watch this. It says, 
And perfected man must pass through all the ways of life. And so a carnal was or uh, con carnality was full manifest, a nature that sprang. Watch this, a nature mm -hmm, that sprang from fleshly things. Without a foe, a soldier never knows his strength, and thought must be developed by the exercise of strength. And so this carnal nature soon became a foe that man must fight. That he might be the strength of Allah made manifest. Let every living thing stand still and hear. Man is the Lord of all the plane of manifest, of protoplast, of mineral, of plant, of beast. But he gave up his birthrights just to gratify his lower self. But man will regain his lost estate, his heritage. Watch this. Man will regain his lost estate. Mm-hmm his heritage, but he must do it in a conflict that cannot be told in words. Yea, he must suffer trials and temptations manifold. But let him know that cherubim and sheriffrim that rule the stations of the sun and spirit of the mighty Allah who rule the solar stars are his protectors and his guide, and they will lead to victory. Man will be fully saved, redeemed, perfected by the things he suffers on the plane of flesh and on the plane of soul. When man has suffered carnal things, his God, his God of flesh will will uh, will then have served its purpose well, and it will fall, will be no more. Then he will have stand, he will stand and trammeled on the plane of soul, right, where he must full complete his victories. Unnumbered foes will stand before him upon the plane of soul these he must overcome yea overcome them every one thus hope will never or hope will ever be his beacon light there is no failure for the human soul i repeat there is no failure for the human soul for allah is leading on and victory is sure man cannot die i'm gonna repeat man cannot die the spirit man is one with Allah. And while Allah lives, man cannot die. When man has conquered every foe upon the plane of soul, the seed will have full opened out, will have unfolded in the holy breath. The garb of soul will then have served its purpose well, and man will need it never more, and it will pass and be no more. And man will then attain to the blessedness of perfectness and at one with Allah, God. So we give peace and praise for that particular reading of the introduction of the Moorish Holy Quran. Again, that was just the introduction, the creation and fall of man. And we will revisit this shortly, go into each of the ayats there and have a dialogue about what it really entails but i just want to say love truth peace freedom and justice and this is another episode of the journey to a knowledge itself but we're going to keep building with different series and different topics as we go on this walk and journey so peace and love family you're what you own what you mean what you own you're what you own